Okay, everybody, get ready because the future starts now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from 3D printing to creating your own robot, we are taking you on a journey through Steam Fest. Yes, and the Pittsburgh Zoo and Aquarium is the perfect place to host this one day event. It's all about showcasing the way that students can put a little steam in their daily lives. Yeah, I like it, that. Uh, yeah, I like that too. Yeah. In addition to checking out the experiments today, you can also get to know the animals like Lewis yeah. is behind us here and the zebras that are back there a little bit more. They're coming over this way. They, come on over, zebras. They want to come hang out. They're just a little know. camera shy. All right. Well, you know what? We want to talk about this because the zoo has experienced a baby boom over the last several months. The birth of another western lowland gorilla added another cutie to the Yay. ranks here at the zoo. This is the second one of its kind, born at the zoo this year, welcomed into the world back in May. Animal care staff named this little guy Bo. It's in honor of the baby's late grandfather, Mimbo, Aww. who was at the zoo until 2005. I love it. Look how adorable but there's so many cool events taking place here too. Of course, Steam Fest is here today and the Asian Lantern Festival runs through October 29th. I know I went last year, it's so beautiful, but more on that coming up and soon it's Zubu, which it's the kid-friendly Halloween event with crafts and characters and of course, candy. And it takes place the last two weekends in October. All right, right now we want to head over to the garden tent because Katie has been finding more things going on over there right now. So Katie, what do you have for us now? I'll tell you what, guys, it is a party. I'm with our friends from GBU Life. This is Jennifer Stockdale. Jennifer, please tell us a little bit about GBU Life and uh, for anybody who may not know. Sure, uh, GBU Life is a member-owned life insurance and annuity company. And a common bond that our members have in common is that they support their local communities. We're headquartered right here in Pittsburgh, but we have members all over the country. And education for children is one of the most important things that we support. Right, you guys are a wonderful partner of ours here at KDKA. You sponsor the quiz show. You're also a huge, proud partner here at Steam Fest. Tell us a little bit about what you guys brought here today. Sure. Uh, so we've got a really exciting table for the kids. We've got a prize wheel. We've got a prize wheel, and you have a very trusty assistant, Roman. Roman, please tell us about the prizes you have today. So, um, first of all, well, there's a brand new special GBO. GBU logo for Halloween and this is what it looks like. Awesome! And there's also a GBU Rubik's Cube made officially by Spin Master. Very cool! And um, there's also these GBU Snap Bracelets also with the new Halloween logo. And there's also this puzzle twister thing very cool. You are a wonderful brand ambassador for GBU. Also, over there, there's the Ozobots. Yes, we're going over there next. Thank you so much for leading us into that. Now, before we go there, let's talk about your relationship with the Education Partnership and some of the initiatives that you have that focus on investing in education. Sure. Well, as part of our education focus, we do partner with organizations like the Education Partnership. We also have our own um, youth program it's called give back university where kids can do great things for their community and earn points that translate into uh, grants for when they go off to college and we have our own gbu foundation we've been providing uh, scholarships and grants for the last 60 years this year we have a new initiative we're adding a community grant uh, to that so we're going to be supporting some organizations in our community with that. We have an official day of giving that's going to be on October 23rd. So people can go online and give to that organization. Um, and then we're going to, you're going to be able to nominate an organization that you like to receive grant from the GBE Foundation. Wonderful, that's also so amazing. And now before we leave, we gotta check out these little autonomous robots. James, please tell us about what we're working with here. Well, the technology of autonomous vehicles, I think a lot of people have seen, and robots in particular. So these individual robots are very accessible to all ages, and they'll follow the path because they have this unique sensor on here in the uh, bottom of the robot. And so if you uh, do simple paths, which one of our uh, guests here today has done here, and um, you can also add color codes 
to make it programmable, which makes uh, the learning opportunities from grades, I would say K all the way through 12, because you can also uh, attach them to your computer for additional programming opportunities. This is amazing. So it can start as an early learning thing or also even develop into something much more sophisticated in programming and robotics. So this works for all ages. Absolutely. And, and that's why I'm here today to, to share some of that fun with technology. They are so cool. I think the kids are going to be playing a lot with these things. Guys, this truly is a STEAM Fest party. It's so much fun. We thank our friends from GBU Life and from the Education Partnership. And I'm going to throw it back to you guys. Let's we'll see what else we can get into over here. Who knows what's next? All right, try to stay out of trouble, Katie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you know what? I, the robots in particular, <laughs> so well, interesting. So interesting. I mean, we need to come over and hang out with you. <laughs> All right, we'll see what Katie's doing a little later, maybe. Yes. All right, uh, we do want to mention GBU. We were talking about it there. They're the sponsors of Katie Quiz. Yes. And Ray Petlin hosts it. It's so much fun to see how intelligent these high school kids are and if you remember Butler High School yep. last year they were the winners and they we sort of tried to like challenge yes. them <laughs> it, it went horribly because they were so incredibly smart they know their business they they yeah. really do and it's really fun because the Katie quiz airs Saturdays at 11 and 11:30 on KDK and CBS News Pittsburgh be sure to check it out